Welcome to another one of my three-in-one time-lapse painting demos. I'm going to be doing a seascape and two flowers. So we'll start off with the flowers. This photograph I took at the local flower market and I just loved the, how the combining colors work together. So this is in my moleskin sketchbook and I would have sprayed the page first. You can still see it shining with all the water, then mixed some ultramarine blue with some alizarin to make the nice purpley color, a bit of quin rose, and then the sap green, which is one of my favorite greens. You can always add a little bit of indigo to make it darker or some yellow to make it lighter. Just adding very loose ideas of stems all around while always drying with my hairdryer just to keep it uh, drying at the same time as I am painting. Then right at the end I decided I wanted to add some pen and ink and a little bit of gouache to, I had somehow lost a little bit of my whites and I'd like to bring them back a bit. Next we'll start on a honeysuckle from the garden. You can see it lying next to my, my page. This was done on Fabriano 300 gram paper and without any drawing, any prior drawing at all. So I started at the top with a mixture of scarlet and a type of cadmium warm yellow, coming down with my lovely sap green again, adding a little bit of burnt sienna to the sap green to just give it that more a warmer type of khaki look and not really worrying that I have anything exactly as I have it in the original flower. So it is you're an artist, you have artistic license to do whatever you like, but I tend to work quite quickly because otherwise the paint is drying. So I'm adding in the little darks to make the painting pop a little bit and to give it more a 3D type of effect. So don't, don't forget to add your darks to your painting and just fixing up little things here and there, not forgetting the stamens with the little bits of pollen as on the edge just to give it that little bit of detail. Then with the uh, mixing up a little bit of a, a purpley color just for the shadows that would have been alizarin and a, a little bit of um, ultramarine blue and I've added in the shadow just to prevent the, the honeysuckle from sort of floating off the page. So here is my finished product. You just need to sign the end and uh, enjoy it. Next is a little seascape. This is down the road from us. I live near the coast and wonderful to see the cormorants flying by. Here I soaked the page completely then added a type of uh, phthalo blue, a bit of ultramarine at the top and yellow ochre at the bottom. So I'm just dropping a little bit of burnt sienna in, some slightly darker colors I might have added a bit of Payne's gray to a blue to make a really strong colors of the rocks. So never use exact black. As it dries, drying with a hairdryer at the same time, I've added in a little bit more detail with gouache and a little bit stronger colors to make the ripples in the water. And then lastly, I come in with my calligraphy pen just to add the, uh, the details to the rocks and this just gives a stronger feel to the small little watercolor. And in the final result you'll see some cormorants flying by and a few more squiggles at the bottom by the foam just to give it that extra look.